up everybody this is Sammy Cheese here back with another video now I've joined for two years I guess a little late on the video sorry a month ago um, I tried to make a video yesterday but today's Valentine's Day the day I'm recording this it might not be up by then let's hope it is um but we will be making a little crossy row game so let's get started So we're going to probably start on the backdrop. Um, we have some sprites that Scratch makes for us. So let's get onto the backdrop. First I'm going to go to bitmap. Go into the color fill. Find a dark green, I'd say. Put it in there. Go back to vector mode. And now I'm going to make a road. So let's switch it to black. Rectangle tool and go to no outline. I'm going to make a road that big right there. And I'm going to copy it and paste it so our roads are the same. They look just as nice. Now that our first backdrop is done, rename the cat sprite, sprite one to player. Go into events, one green flag clicked. Set size to 50%. Find a good X and Y position that's up here at the top. And for me, that's negative 7 for the X and Y is 138. So now when we start, he'll always go there. Next, you want to go into control forever. If, grab four of them. This will be the moving technique. I'm going to use arrow keys for this video, but you can use whatever you would like. Key up arrow pressed. Key down arrow pressed, key right arrow pressed, key left arrow pressed. Now if we put these in the block, formation, we will start on our way to making movement. Next, I'm going to do change X by, let's try three when right arrow pressed. Uh, where's X? Change X by, let's say, neg oh, well, negative 3. Oops, one left arrow pressed. So then we'll um, set, oh, oh, change Y, oh, change Y by, sorry, 3 when we press the up arrow. And now we should change Y by negative 3 when we press the down arrow. Let's give that a quick test here. Um green flag our cat moves just fine maybe a little too fast for you but you can adjust it to your taste now you want to click on choose a sprite look up car oops car I'm going to choose convertible which I'll rename to car one choose another sprite look up car again convertible two name this car two so you can put whatever car you want to put it at the top and make sure it's in an X and Y position, not touching the edge, and you'll see why. So right now, let's go to car one. One green flag clicked. Go to this X and Y position that you have chose. Put in forever, move, pick random, I'll put Let's try, I don't know, 4 to 10 steps. That That's pretty fast. So when we click the green flag, we're going to di get different speed variations. Now we want to grab another one green flag clicked. Forever. If. Now you want to go into sensing, and here's why. If touching edge. That old X and Y position that you had right here, duplicate that and put it in that script. Now we got a nice convertible that you can easily dodge. Well, not easily, but you can dodge it. Ooh, just missed it. So now you want to add the if touching go back to that X and Y position that we had for the cat. So I'm gonna duplicate this X and Y position here, go into one green flag clicked, forever if 
grab a operators put in or if touching um, car one or touching car two. Oops, that fell out. Let's put those in the or. Then go back to that old X and Y position. Okay, let's give this a quick test. As you can see, we go back to the X and Y position that we originated at. So you want to make sure that, you, that it's possible just like that. Now time to code car two. One green flag clicked. You had that X and Y position that wasn't touching the edge for this car too. Make sure you go to that. Um, now we're going to do, uh, where is it, for forever. If touching edge, duplicate this, go to that position. Duplicate this script, grab a one green flag clicked, forever, go into motion, go, this one can be, let's make this one 8 to 10 steps, so this one will move fast. Oh, and I accidentally put this car up here. You know, I'm going to make this uh, 6 to 4. Actually, and oops, I messed up the X and Y position, so I'm going to go fix that right now. Now let's give our game a shot. Oh, no. So you can, now I'm going to say let's make a death variable to see how long, how many deaths it took until you got across this road. Oh, we almost made it. So now you want to go into variables, make a variable, call this deaths. Make sure it's for all sprites. Make sure one green flag clicked, set deaths to zero, change deaths by one, drop that in the player script, add that on to if touching car one or car two. Now, if we touch them, as you can see, it counts them. So now you, you can have a fun time or a great time enjoying your game. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more future content or better future content. So you can add levels if you want to. But anyway, anyway peace out. Yeah.